Hello, this is Ekushan from Twitter. Um, today we're going to talk about uh, one of the simplest methods of uh, of hacking, which is called uh, buffer overflow. Um, essentially, this is uh, something when um, you do something like this. Uh, so uh, let's create a program. Uh, LOL.c put here the includes for the for the main program up our main which is a void can be a void we have um, for example a string so uh, an, uh, an array of chars this is a, this is sql char um, we're going to put here uh, abc with size 3 equals abc so this is our string for destination uh, and we can do something like this we can create another string char um, def with a larger size so um, for example, this is one very large size, like this. Then, after, yes, uh, after we uh, go and do something like mem setting to the, to the EF, something like 0x41. Um, and the size we're going to put this one okay just so we know it's a bunch of A's so how does um, a buffer overflow work um, essentially when you're doing stuff like this uh, you need to use uh, uh, st um, functions that do safe copying of uh, of uh, of strings of of buffers of memory etc. Because if you don't, if you use something like string copy and you use uh, well the ABC as the as destination and the EF as source, what will happen is uh, this will this will have uh, ABC and then it will start corrupting memory after that and then you can uh, you can maybe control this part uh, of the ACE uh, or then if you have for example a flag Or uh, something like um, root flag, root flag equals zero. Is this can affect the flag of your program and turn it into one? Okay. Um, and uh, this is can be the, this can be dangerous. It can turn in the flag into one uh, if your system is not well protected. Uh, it can you can also, for example, when you run the program, you and you uh, type on. Well, this is Windows, so if you type uh, the message. Uh, you should see a bunch of registers and if you can control racks I believe 
uh, you can uh, make it uh, jump so somewhere and uh, uh, make it run some some function so you make can make it jump to a place and do stuff so for example printf is function um, let's see so this is ff 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 uh, a2 uh, 3 4 8 5 um, 4 0 okay so you know this is printf you know this is the function associated with printf uh, so considering ASLR is uh, disabled so you can just go here you can just copy this I'm not sure if it's like that or the opposite but you can go here and you can just put it here and this will run uh, printf okay so this is uh, just for a, fun a simple function like printf but if you can if you can control the system well you can do anything else you want uh, so uh, let's see an example of this uh, this is not the best example because there are already protections in uh, WSCL but you can see one of the um, one of the examples here so um, you have a, a, a buffer of 15 uh, bytes you have a password to you have a flag uh, to pass uh, to zero so you put the password and if the password is the geek stuff this is from a tutorial that I saw uh, well if it's not because you don't see the, the exclamation point here uh, if it's not you, you will, it will put the wrong password otherwise it will be the correct password and pass will be one and if the pass is one you can you now have a root admin privileges so for example uh, if i go here and compile this uh, main.c let's see if this opens up okay main.c uh, I will compile it with the debug options with which is minus G so says here that the gets function is deprecated is dangerous and should not be used so yeah this is the function this is the function that is unsafe uh, so we do uh, we do uh, dot slash a dot out because it's default uh, programmer uh, output uh, executable and we run it enter the password we put the geek stuff and it gives the correct password so let's imagine that uh, we put less size so we do less size uh, one two three for example wrong password okay everything correct uh, now let's try something bigger so since this is uh, WSL it, it is already protected against uh, these types of uh, uh, it, it causes stack smashing because it's uh, it's a stack overflow so um, just put it just put it like this and okay so stack smashing detected terminated we run the message you know what happened and you can see here that uh, it has a potenti potentially f unexpected fatal signal 6 if we go to uh, to the browser and, and we search signal 6 on 
Linux. Um, it is. Uh, it will be called the signal abort because it saw that it was uh, it was something dangerous. So uh, it it asked to abort the program. So this is the the simple stuff. There are more complicated stuff. There is, for example, let me let me put it here. Read. So there is stack uh, buffer overflow, uh, which is another term. There is heap buffer overflow. So stack is, uh, I believe, uh, when the program is running, is running, and the heap uh, uh, is when the program. Uh, I believe I ca I can I could be wrong, but if you if you, if you know if you know any better, please uh, make sure to to correct me in the in the comments. There's also stack smashing, which is to prevent uh, this. This is uh, some for the, uh, for the, uh, some form of attack. Uh, there are um, canaries prevent this okay this attack uh, and that's that's pretty much it so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, if you if you have any doubts please don't ask me please ask someone else who knows more about it uh, maybe Spectre, maybe uh, well, I, I don't know, maybe uh, Quer Querty, Querty, he might know, maybe uh, Chendo Chap or maybe Zeno. Th those are the experts uh, around the, the exploit area. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, in the next, in the next video, we will speak about. Um, uh, rob gadgets what are rob gadgets what is uh, return object uh, object oriented programming i believe it's it's like that uh, return object programming i'm not sure uh, how does it work uh, and uh, how to to make uh, how to make it work with the javascript which is a bit complicated but you can you can you can make it work um, this was used uh, in in the old firmwares more than it is used in the new ones but it's also used in the new ones for ps4 uh, and also for ps3 uh, but um, well uh, i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, and uh, if you have any doubts i will try to answer and uh, reply uh, correctly and uh, i'll see you guys on the next video